thank, thank you for having me here at the uh, Woodbridge to Art event to celebrate Woodbridge's 350th anniversary. Um, and I'm going to play some songs for you. This big top shines, cuts through the night, but it casts no light that I call mine. Two months I spent in this circus tent, they can't hear you scream. Stop that big bright dream, cause I should stop running. But I never stopped running before I guess I could use something To scrape me right off of the floor I'm desperate now So God, if you're there Then give me some kind of a sign Charts to navigate 
hate your heart, but there'd always be some place I'd rather be. I can stack the deck and deal you every ace and king and queen. When the next hand comes around, when your love just might run out, I can promise it'll be a pretty scene. Still can't change the world for you, Simone. I, just a fool who's got his eyes on your own. You were probably better off. My name is Monica Eppinger, I'm the library director, and I can't thank all of you enough for coming out tonight for our 350th anniversary celebration, Woodbridge to Art. We have a very special guest, I'd like to introduce John McCormick, our mayor. Thank you very much. Wow, Monica talks very lightly, I guess I didn't think it was this loud. Um, first, I want to say thank you for everybody for coming out tonight. Uh, you know, we first, I guess, where's Carol? Uh, Carol Ornick, my chief of staff and the head of redevelopment. When did we start our arts initiative? Like in 2008 or 9 or so? About a minute after you first became About a minute after I became mayor. We started a little arts initiative and we brought together a whole lot of people in town, whether it's music, drama, uh, uh, the arts, painting, sculpting, whatever. Brought a whole bunch of people together. From there, we started our Wednesday arts uh, concert series, and we started our Friday jazz series and Sunday country series, and so many other things have come from that. But I have to say that looking around tonight, I think we have arrived as an arts community in the state of New Jersey. We have absolutely arrived. These pictures are tremendous. I haven't even seen a third of them yet, um, but I, well, I did see all of them because I picked. I did see them online and I picked my winner, but I haven't seen them all in person yet. But here's what I want to do. I want to get around to every single picture and take a picture of the artist from my Facebook page next to their painting or drawing or whatever it was. I want to start downstairs with the kids because they have to go home and get ready for Santa Claus. They have to be nice and not naughty, so they gotta, let, let's let them go home and go to bed. So I'll start downstairs, so as soon as we finish here, I want all the kids to go downstairs and stand proudly next to your artwork, and we'll take a picture and you'll be famous because you'll be on the Mayor Mac Facebook page, and that's pretty serious. The only, pro the only thing is, if anybody gets discovered from being on my Facebook page, I get 10% of the proceeds of whatever you sell. It's a fair deal, I think it's a very fair deal. I want to thank Monica, sorry, I have a little bit of a cold. It's not puberty, it's actually a cold. Um, I, want to thank, <laughs> I want to thank Monica Eppinger, she came here a couple of years ago on this library board to run it, and I think she has done just a tremendous job running the library board. I met somebody from Elizabeth a couple weeks ago at the convention and they said, you got Monica? And I said, yeah. And they said, we're sorry you did. Uh, she was a deputy over there and it was a perfect opportunity for him to come to Woodbridge and be the director. And she's done a wonderful job uh, here with the library board. We have so many members of the board here. If you're a member of the board, come on up and just be recognized and get in a picture. We have Peggy Marowitz, the president of the board. We got Anthony Tarabetsky, I know, is here. Isha Valles is here. Anybody else in the house that's on the library board? And if anybody's on the uh, Arts Commission, Cultural Arts Commission, please come up also. You're so vital to the success of the arts in town. And I want to thank uh, KG, uh, the Assistant Library Director, and there's one young lady who's been responsible for a whole lot of things in this town. As you know, we're celebrating our 350th anniversary, and Wendy Rottweiler has been instrumental in that effort with all kinds of different things that we're working on. I know she had a big hand in today's event. I I'm sorry this is only up for a day. I mean, we got to figure something better next time because this art should be up for a long time. Maybe I'll just make an executive order and say you can't take it down <laughs> until Christmas. Or maybe we'll put it up in the art center. You can see the trains and then you can see the art all around it. Who knows? But art like this should not be up for just one day. I'm really proud of it. Everybody here did a terrific job. So thank you. Thank you, Wendy. She's hiding back here. Uh, she's a little bit shy. Nicole Perez, really? Nicole Perez, come on up, Nicole. 
everybody shy all of a sudden. It's a good thing I'm not. So everybody, thanks. So Cynthia Knight's here from the Parent Arts Center. Brandon Powell's here from the Brandon uh, uh, from the uh, Parent Arts Center. So many people have done so much uh, for our town with the arts. And like I say, now we have the Avenel Arts Center opening up probably March, possibly April. Um, it's going to be a 200-seat theater and a restaurant uh, with a bar. It's going to be a fantastic venue. We're already booking concerts and plays and different acts. It's going to be amazing. And if we're not already on the map of the arts in the state of New Jersey, we're going to be when that opens. So buckle up, folks. We're moving ahead. We're doing all kinds of great things. And I love the fact that there's so many kids here. I was at Barron Arts Center last night, a bunch of concerts for the kids. And one kid from each school had a painting that they displayed in Barnes & Noble over in Edison. And you should have seen these kids. They were so proud that they were the one chosen from their school. Uh, the arts are great. Arts, academics, and, and athletics are the three A's and the education of our school kids. So thank you all very much. I'm so excited about what's going on in town. And thank you all that you, all that you have done to make it possible. And now do I announce the winner? The winner of the um, painting con or the art contest, not because I go there, because I don't even like the beer there, but it's a wonderful painting, a beautiful painting of J.J. Biddings. I'd like to call up uh, Jules Weber from Port Reading for the Mayor's Choice Award. Thank you, Jules. He also gets a blanket. So this mayor certificate, he can probably sell on eBay in a couple days for a quarter, but the blanket lasts forever. Where's Jules? There he is. Come on up. I forget what you painted last time. The Hess Refinery you painted too, right? You got to go see the Biddings. We painted the Hess uh, Refinery a couple years ago, right? Man's an amazing talent, and he's from Woodbridge Township. Ladies and gentlemen, Jules Weber. Thanks, pal. You want to say anything? I always ask the kids when they come up. Tell me, tell me what got you. How long have you been an artist? 60 years. 60 years. <laughs> I've been alive 60 years. We're even. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, from Port Reading, New Jersey, part of Woodbridge, Jules Weber. I also want to introduce, uh, I know Dan Harris is here from the Board of Ed. Are there any other board members or town council members here? I don't see anybody. Anyway, oh, Bill Brandenburg, our music guy, is in the back there, helping us out with all the concerts. He started them, a lot of them, way back in 2009. I could introduce everybody, but it would take all night. So thank you all. We're very, very excited. All you kids, I'll meet you downstairs. Stand next to your painting, and I'll take a quick pic. And then when I get up, all you adults stay here and stand next to your artwork. I'll take a pic. Thank you very much. Is Ken Witkowski in the house? Is Ken Witkowski here? Please come up. You're the winner of the Library Board of Trustees Award. I want to thank everyone who voted for the People's Choice Award on Facebook. The winner of the People's Choice Award is Beth Schreier. Please come on up. Avenel Turtle. For the Avenel Turtle. Make sure you look at the Avenel Turtle. There's a whole series of pictures Congrats. that go with that. Thank you. That You'll get four. Another exhibit. Okay. Congratulations. Congratulations, Beth. Thank you. I'd like to make the announcements for all of the people who have won in the categories of art. First, I'd like to thank, again, Wendy Rottweiler, who will be making the, she'll be giving the descriptions and, and the artist's names, and Nicole Perez, who's also going to be here. They did a ter terrific job of putting the show together. Uh, and one more announcement I have to make. There have been a lot of you asking about taking your art with you tonight. If you'd like to take your art home at 9 o'clock, we'll need for you to to check with Nicole, make sure she has your name, that you've taken your art if you're taking it home. The mayor has offered the community center as a place to have this exhibit go on. If you live close by and it's not you know, inconvenient to come back at another time to get your painting, we sure would, or your work, we sure would like to offer you the opportunity to have the, the uh, exhibit go on. So we'll have you check in with Nicole if you're taking your work and if you want to leave it, we'll give you another opportunity, okay? So I'm going to introduce Wendy Rottweiler, who will give us the categories and the award winners. Thank you. Good evening, everyone. Um, we've had so much amazing art uh, in Woodbridge and the surrounding community. Uh, I'd like to announce the winners of the different media categories. And if you're present, please come up. Uh, in photography, Emma Barea. 
at the shack. In dry media, Leona Chung, Koi. Wet media, Franny Lugo, Lamp with Clock. Mixed media, Robert DeMatteo, Arsenic. Sculpture, Nora Avida Aresti. Hey, Nora, congratulations. And uh, wait, wait, you got a certificate and a gift card. That's it. That's it. Fiber Arts, Martha Landy, with her piece, All You Need Is Love, her quilt. In uh, the student category, I'd like to bring up Emil Kolev with Head in the Clouds. And while Emil's making her way up, I have another announcement to make. If someone misplaced their penguin purse, please inquire at the bar. Penguin purse is at the bar. Thank you. Um, I'd also, just while I have your attention, want to thank all the amazing people who made this possible tonight. Uh, the committee here at the library, uh, Nicole Perez, whose inspiration and idea this was and who was the driving force behind all of it. Angelo Russo, Nancy O'Grady, who single-handedly put together the children's uh, uh, exhibit downstairs. April Payne, our program coordinator, Nadja Grime, coordinator of the main library, Linda Cooper, assistant director, KG Brown, Lynn Balmer, Ellen Bonacardi, uh, Karen Haas Gray. I'd like to also uh, thank our volunteer coordinators tonight, Anna Genovese and Kathy Southard. Um, our other volunteers like Elise Gable, Lee Beckerman, and uh, Clay Miller. Um, of course, I want to thank Monica Eppinger for making this all possible tonight. And I'd really like to uh, give a big thank you to the musicians tonight, Jeff Linden, The Afraid Brigade, and The Cold Weather Company. Thank you all.